Ski for Light, introductory video with some audio description for the visually impaired. Opening shot, Julian ski gear with a snowy trail and blue sky landscape behind. Skiing, sharing, learning, and now zooming. Hi, I'm Julie Copens, and this is Ski for Light. Actually, it's my living room, but. Camera pulls back, revealing a green screen setup Fake winter scene disappears, bookshelves, lamps, a couch. Pulling off the impossible, even during a global pandemic, that's just how we roll. Ski for Light logo floats over vast Rocky Mountain landscape in winter. Ski for Light Inc. is an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization founded in 1975, modeled on a similar program in Beitostolen, Norway, called the Ritterin. We have year-round offshoots across the country, but our main endeavor is a week-long international event each winter in which blind and mobility-impaired adults are taught the basics of cross-country skiing. They leave Ski for Light with a sense of accomplishment and motivation that often carries over to the rest of their lives back home. Scenes of SFL pairs striding in tracks, smoothly descending hills, smiling for the camera. Voice of Nancy McKinney Milstead, SFL past president and guide. After my first time out on skis, I was addicted. Addicted to cross-country skiing, addicted to the wonderful people involved. The next year, I was asked to be a guide trainer. It was another year of memories and relationship building. I had no idea that attending this event would change my life. During all this time, I've had the pleasure to be a sighted guide for more skiers than I can remember. Each visually impaired participant, or VIP as we like to say, is paired for the week with an experienced, sighted cross-country skier who acts as ski instructor and guide. The disabled person skis in tracks or grooves groomed into the snow, while the guide skis in a parallel set of tracks. The volunteer guides pay the same event fees as disabled skiers, and we all work together to keep the organization running. Voice of Nina Bacini, visually impaired skier. And at each of these events, I've met many wonderful, wonderful people whom I've adopted into my extended Ski for Light family. Voice of Jamie Sonata, mobility impaired skier. It's the biggest cliche, but it's absolutely the adventure and experience of a lifetime. So I carry those memories and moments and life lessons and laughs and stories and experiences all the more closely to my heart. Um, and the skiing, of course, is a, an amazing and major accomplishment. But really for me, what truly makes the memories memorable are the people. Women in orange bibs marked blind skier and guide zoom toward Roger Young's camera on a track straightaway, arms raised in triumph. Smile, girls! <laughs> Our motivation is simple to share a favorite activity with someone who would otherwise not have the opportunity to participate. Charlie Worth, 99-year-old blind skier, crosses the finish line with guide Karen Anderson. Big smile. Most of us discover that in the process of giving of ourselves, we receive so much more in return. And many of us come back year after year. Linnae Forsyth guides SFL president Tim McCorkle down a tracked hill in perfect snowplow position. Two skier guide pairs, Bonnie and Amy, Bob and Joni, practice lane changing and passing on a long straightaway. Tim and Linnae double poling around a curve. In 2021, due to the pandemic, we're gathering virtually, hosting our 46th international event on the Zoom platform for a few days of adaptive exercise, goal setting, idea sharing, community connections, and celebration. Scott Fisher at home shows double pulling exercise using elastic sport cords. Matt exercised with Betsy Fisher, rolling sit-ups. While we hope this online event will be a one-time thing, we are excited by the opportunity to introduce Ski for Light to a wider audience and to welcome back some old friends who might have faced barriers from attending in recent years. Karen Wood kickboxing on her porch. Punch, kick, turn. Wheelchair user Ellen Pavitt in the gym, pressing dumbbell overhead. John Elliott demonstrates a triceps press using rubber resistance loop. Let's hear from a few more SFLers about what this truly unique, transformative program has meant to them. Deborah and Piazzi, visually impaired skier in a blue Nordic sweater. My first ski for light was in 2017. I was nervous about attending, but once I got there, once I saw what sort of place it was, I was overwhelmed. It was amazing. 
it was just a lovely, lovely trip. The place was beautiful. We had a lovely time. We had lovely chats. It snowed hard and we skied hard. It was simply fantastic. Karen Wood, visually impaired skier on couch with Golden Retriever. Hi, I'm Karen Wood from Columbia, Maryland, and this is my seeing eye dog, Dolly. Um, I was actually at the seeing eye school uh, training to get Dolly when I heard about Ski for Light, and I was like, wait a minute, you're telling me blind people can ski? I didn't believe it. But anyway, the next thing you know, we were hopping on a plane to uh, Denver to go to our first Ski for Light event. I had never been on skis before, and from the moment I arrived at the Denver airport, Ski for Light wrapped their arms around me and made me feel welcome and safe. And next thing you know, I'm out on skis with my guide, Marita. More scenes of smiling SFL skiers and guides, some in numbered race bibs, out on the trail. The event location changes in an effort to spread the Ski for Light concept to as many parts of the country as possible. In recent years, we have gathered in Casper, Wyoming, Granby, Colorado, Tahoe Donner near Truckee, California, and Bel Air, Michigan. So for me, Ski for Light has been just the most amazing um, opportunity to push myself physically, socially, emotionally. Um, it's just been one of the most amazing things in my life, and I, and I hope that everybody who gets the opportunity tries it out. To learn more, please visit our website, sfl.org. Subscribe to our newsletter, connect with us on social media, and if you're able, please support our mission by making a contribution online. It's quick and easy to do through our website. Every dollar you give will go directly toward changing lives, whether out on the snowy trails, or closing montage of SFLers, rock climbing, road biking, zip lining, and more. Wherever our fearless friends happen to be. Thank you for joining us here and be well. Screen credits, Ski for Light, Inc., X-Wind Films.